Hello, I'm Archie Luxury, and welcome to the program, fuckers. How are you fuckers today? And uh, <coughs> I wanted to talk about a, um, a dilemma I've got there. And I've really been streamlining the Archie Luxury collection because, look, I, I'll tell you the truth there. I mean, everyone knows there's no point in me lying. I've decided to, I got, got the ass from work, and I've decided to use this time to try and expand my YouTube business because I love making content. I love making content, and I'm, I want to give it a go. So I, I've had a complete sea change. Uh, I've had some personal problems. I've had some... Uh, really personal problems. I've had uh, work problems and I've decided just to take a bit of time out and I've got a few few interesting things happening. But um, anyhow, with the collection, I'll talk about the collection in a different video, but I want to talk about my dilemma. And the dilemma is, Archie, what submariner do you go for? And I'm just, I've hit the pool big time. And uh I've really fallen in love with two models. And I haven't had a good diver for a while. The last diver I had was actually a, uh, a Breitling Super Ocean. And uh, I actually sold it at auction very cheap. And it, it, that was probably a silly move in, in, in hindsight. But um, just looking now at my collection, I've, I've got Gregory Kinder's two-tone blue sub in front of me and uh don't tell greg this but i've been wearing it a little bit because I've, i wanted to know what is it like to behold and uh i gotta tell you i've <laughs> i'm trying to work out i got my no date and there's also bluesy so <laughs> I don't know what is the perfect submariner for me. Now, I've sought counsel from my, some of my, my best, my, my friends. I, I was talking to Brian. Brian, uh, he, he's just recently taken delivery of a, um, a two-tone blue ceramic sub. And uh, he got it for a great price. He paid nine and a half Aussie. He bought it from a friend who needed to sell it for personal reasons. And uh, I said, that's a bargain. Blue, he calls it a smurf because the blue is different than the, um, than the non-ceramic. It's a little bit different shade of blue. Uh, but uh, look, 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 the real dilemma is that I've been streamlining my collection. I've sold quite a few things off. The core pieces in the collection are going to be the Calatrava, the Reverso Grand Date, the Breguet, and a sub. Now, I don't know which sub because I've been really good. I've been reducing credit card debt. And I tell you honestly, it's coming down. It's all manageable. I could very easily, once my AP sells, I could very easily keep a little bit of that money out, sell my no date sub and get a bluesy. That's right. And, and, and I, I don't know what I should do. And I, I've been talking to a few people. Brian said to me, Brian, my good friend from Zircon Security and Debt Collection, he said, Archie, it's a no brainer. Get the blue. Get the blue. That's what <coughs> that's what Brian said to me. And uh, I, I've had Greg Kinder, Greg Kinder, who himself, he sold his no date. This is actually his no date I bought off him. The only reason he sold it was to get the blue one. So it's a very, very tricky situation here. You've got two beautiful subs. And I don't know which way to go. It's very, very tricky. And I've worn them both. And I'll tell you the pros and cons. The two-tone bluesy, it's more flamboyant, it's more dressy. These are the pros. More flamboyant, more dressy. I've run the chick magnet test. I've gone to attractive women and said, which do you prefer? And nine out of ten of them have gone for bluesy. 
Uh, it's also got a date feature. It's in blue dial. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful watch. The cons of it are, it's a bit too loud. It's two-tone, so the gold center is a little bit soft. So it's technically not a tool watch as such as the No Date because it does have that gold. You've got to be a bit careful. And um, I've been accused, accused of being a car salesman if I had this watch. So that's that's bluesy. And then, then there's the no date, right? The no date, the pros on that are that it's elegant. This the It's the original uh, Submariner at its purest modern form. No date, it's got no Cyclops. It's uh, discreet, understated. It's a classic. Uh, great investment potential. These, with the ceramic coming out, these will probably go up in price quite a bit. Uh, I got a mint example already, so I don't have to be bothered looking around for a mint two-tone. So that's that's the dilemma. The negatives, the negatives on the bluesy. Well, it's a bit loud. The negatives are it's it's another two and a half thousand. I'd have to probably chip in. Uh, and it's also um, it's also, you know, all my watches are white metals white gold steel so it's to be the odd one out the cons on the uh the no date well like maybe i want a bit more of attention now that i'm a single man maybe now that i'm doing the prowl the prowl fuckers doing the prowl maybe now i could use a little bit flamboyance and uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. So it's a very tricky dilemma. And I love both of them. The sub and the, uh, you know, the two bluesy and the um, the no date. They're just two cool fuckers. Two really cool fuckers that I absolutely love. And... Uh, Oh, it's so hard. I mean, I mean, one one day I want the blue Z. The other day I said, no, I, how could I dare sell the no date? So, um, yeah, it's it's a real dilemma. And I've already got a beautiful no date, okay? It's a minty, 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 minty no date. So um, how could you go wrong with that, what I've already got? So, uh you tell me, fuckers, what would you do if you were Archibald Chesterfield the third? Tell me what you would do. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you would do. I'm supposed to be the expert, and I don't fucking know. See you later, fuckers. Nice one, Archie.